Okay, thank you very much. This is Jomar Hilario, and you are going to find out how to online plan a wedding. And in the process, learn a brand new skill that may not be taught to you by anyone else. And the skill is a called, well, it's using a brand new tool. When I say brand new, it's about three years old, okay? So it's not as old as your Microsoft PowerPoint or Excel or Google Sheets and all that stuff. It's also not designed for wedding planning. This tool is a, it's a, it's a new concept, new, new meaning three, three, three years old that combines so many different aspects of planning anything that a lot of companies are already using it okay, quietly because it never reaches the headlines of, of people. And uh, people who are first timers in any kind of uh, endeavor like virtual careers can actually relate to what I'm gonna use it for tonight. I'm gonna use it to show you the power of the tool by planning someone's wedding. Could be your wedding, could be somebody else's wedding, could be a friend's wedding. If you use this tool, all that confusion of putting stuff together with a notebook will be gone because it's now going to be used. Um, you can use a smartphone and you can also use online this app to do it. Okay, so my name is Joe Marilario. I am the author of this book, Virtual Careers, and the green book, which is the same. And this this is a book which you you can use to uh, start off a career in the internet. You know, if you attended the feast and the grand feast this Sunday, uh, there was a guest there, her name was Veya Lim, and she was actually one of my speakers, uh, yeah, three years ago. She started working online about three years ago, and, and she relates her, her story wherein she had seven clients at any given time doing social media marketing. Well, tonight, it's not about social media marketing, it's about something else totally. It's about helping clients plan something. Apparently, I it I could I could just discuss in you know, hi Amy, hi Anne, hi Alfred. I can discuss something as technical as an editorial calendar, but it's easier to show you that this app, app this tool, by actually giving you a sample of me using the tool, uh, planning somebody's wedding. Okay, a sample wedding planning. So do let me know where you are uh, calling in from, where you are joining in from. I just want to take a few moments to share this to my groups. Um, yeah, because apparently this is not the kind of thing that happens automatically in Facebook. So my name is Jomar. I do this uh, every Monday at this online show. In this, and today uh, I'm, I'm teaching a brand new skill again. Okay? So do hope you stick around to the end of the show. We try to keep it short, but since this is a brand new tool, there will be demos. So you will be learning something brand new today. Haven't taught anyone this. And uh, and my background personally is I work uh, as a computer programmer for many, many years. And then I became a manager, uh, also in IT. Okay, so not really far from what we're doing right now. What we're, we're doing what? We're doing computers, we're doing internet. Uh, but oh, yeah, everybody, everybody knows how to use the internet nowadays, no? you using your phone, and everybody knows how to use computers, you know, to do Facebook. But today, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you uh, something that is deep into my background of computer science, okay? Because uh, I understand this fully, but the problem is, it may be a powerful tool, this tool I'm going to share you, how to plan the wedding, but most of you have no access to it because it's really difficult to use. Okay, um, if you know anything about structured query language, you normally need to use something like that to access the power of this tool. Now, some of you will be starting to compare this tool that I'm going to talk about and teach you to a thing called uh, Excel or Google Sheets. It's not going to be enough. Okay, Excel or Google Sheets cannot match the power of this tool I'm going to teach you. And I just want to get into it. Okay. I hope I do hope it's okay for you if I just dive into it. Uh, well, I could give you a few more details. Okay, so I've been running this webinar slash Google, uh, sorry, Facebook, uh, Facebook show for the past uh, fifteen weeks only. Just the Facebook show is fifteen weeks, but I've been doing this Monday nine p.m. show for about four, five years. Okay, if you go to Google, look for John Hilario, you'll be able to find. A lot of the interviews of all my old students are there. When I say old, I mean 
this year. I mean, that's what I mean by oh, okay, this, this year. And my goal for teaching you this is to teach you technical stuff that most people ignore because you know a lot of people are gaga today regarding Facebook chatbots. Okay, started teaching that around um, about three years ago. Okay, uh, started watching that for three years ago. Started teaching that two years ago. So we're out. We're you know we're finished with Facebook chatbots. We're not gonna go into something deeper, which is becoming more valuable as a virtual professional to a client. So to do that, let's start being more valuable to ourselves first. Okay. So uh, some some few tidbits before we go into this new skill. I am married. I have four kids. I have I we homeschool three of the kids. Okay. I live here in the Philippines. I'm going to speak in English, but in. Um, if you're happy, just type the words, uh, yes, I am happy, and we can get started. Okay. When I say if I am happy, if you want me to speak in another language, fine. If you want me to greet your name, please type something meaningful in the chat room. Like, for example, you can type, yes, I want to learn, and then start tagging your friends who are about to get married, who are married, who are, sorry, who's um, thinking about marriage or thinking about learning a new skill. Start tagging them in the chat right now. Thank you so much, Pam, from Binyan Laguna, Conrado. Thank you so much. De DJ from Abu Dhabi, Amy, hello, from Manila, hello again. YT from Rizal, Levy, uh, hello, Grace, hello, Dursey again, hello, Laurel Lynn, hello, hello, uh, hello, everyone. Yes, Amy, thank you very much for saying I want to learn. And so let's begin now, no? So the name of the app we're gonna teach you today is called uh, sorry, called it's called. I'm going I'm going to make myself smaller because I'm gonna show you the app. So I'm gonna make make myself a little bit smaller here so there's more space for the app. I'm gonna open up Airtable right now, and yeah. So Airtable, there is a free. Everybody say free. <laughs> There is a free tier. There is a part of Airtable that you don't have to pay anything for. So if you are you know, first timer in Airtable, then I'm gonna I'm gonna type it in, in the chat room. Uh, sorry in the chat room but in this one. So the, the name is Airtable. Now when you come into Airtable, um, it's one of those apps that are super super good just like Canva. Only this has like an infinite amount of of, uh, of of use for it. Okay. Let me just see. Now the problem with Airtable and other people introducing Airtable is you have no idea how to introduce this complicated software to everyone. Okay. No idea. Uh, and so I'm going to show you the Airtable uh, page right now because it's too powerful. Okay. And some of you will be concluding, ah, okay, this is an Excel. Okay. This is an Excel. This is just like Excel. Yeah, sorta. Actually, no. But, you know, pwede na. <laughs> I'm just, just a moment, I'm gonna punch it in. I want you to see this. Bottom line, if you are running a wedding, there's so many details to take note of. Yes or no? You, are, you will be bewildered by the thickness of the notebooks when people use uh, what when when they plan weddings, right? And and it's really confusing. And it's in multiple cell phones, or it's in somebody's notebook, or you hire a wedding planner. So uh, Airtable is one of those apps that allows you to give that gives you smarts. Everybody type the word. It gives me smarts. It, it makes you smarter, even though you're not knowledgeable about anything regarding <laughs> regarding planning a wedding. Let's say. You just you just want to Google how to plan a wedding. Well, in Airtable, you don't need to Google how to plan a wedding. It's actually gonna teach you by showing you the black things that you don't have when you're starting a wedding. So in Airtable here, um, so I start up with Airtable. The first thing I go to is I go to Universe. Okay, so that's like so the Universe is this. Oh no, I'm there's a lot of information. So one thing you need to note note about Airtable. Just ignore the information and just go for the personal stuff here. There's a lot of personal stuff here that you can look at. Um, ignore everything else for the meantime, okay? And then look for something you can use for yourself, which is personal. 
where is it? I cannot find the person Where did I see that? Otherwise, I'm gonna search for it na lang. Hindi ko makita eh. Okay, I'm just gonna search for the wedding. Wedding. Okay. So, this is the ultimate wedding planner. I just searched in under universe. So, I'm gonna click on that. Just, then, it shows me some stuff. And on the right side, half the page, it it gives me all the things I need to consider when I run a, you know, when I run a wedding. When I plan a wedding. So, the details are on the left. Uh, if I were you, I'd ignore the details. Okay? Yeah, if you're the kind of person this webinar or show is ty uh, addressed to, you would want to read everything. Yeah? I don't want to read it to you. Instead, I'm going to show it to you. Okay? So, Ultimate Wedding Planner gives all the blanks that you need to fill up when you plan a wedding. Should be very easy. Now, what you need to do with the screen is click on the violet part. Click on it so it becomes bigger. So, it's now bigger. Okay. So on the left side of the screen, you will find already filled up for you some sample information about somebody's wedding. Obviously, if you begin this in Excel, you are greeted with a blank sheet. There's nothing to fill up in Excel. But for Airtable, there it is. All the pieces of information you need to fill up when you plan a wedding. Now, I want to go through all of this. Who are the most important people in a wedding? Everyone. So, there is an everyone table. Everybody ta say the word table. The everyone table is everyone you can think of. And obviously, since this is a wedding, who, who are these people? Everyone. These are the people you probably want to invite. Yes? Because that's the most important part of the wedding. Yeah? Actually, the most important part is the relationship. But... <laughs> Since you're planning a wedding, it has to be the people you're, you you know, you want to invite. So that's an everyone, okay? Another important piece of a wedding would be have you sent them invitations, yeah? So there it is. There is a part there that says uh, invite sent. Right? Just a moment, I'm going gonna, gonna to highlight it for you so you can see it, right? So I click on that, it's invite sent. So this is a table. Now, by the way, you can, this is a sample data. We can modify this for real for real wedding use, but obviously, I'm using somebody else's sample data. And you can just, this is like, click that if, you, if the invitation has been sent. Very simple, RSVP. Another one is, when you want to figure out who you want to attend and who you don't want to attend, and who's probably not going to show. So you have an A-list. Now, if you know nothing about wedding planning, you now know you need to create an A-list. Who? People you must invites you also have a b list which is what people hmm, maybe you want to invite if 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 there's budget you know some sort of people you're obligated to invite but don't really like to invite so you know you don't so a list are people you really want to go who really who really wants to go and as you can see there's already a uh fee grouping here probably not coming not sure coming definitely coming and may be coming. And that's already shows you the power of this thing. Now, because if you did this in Excel, number one, all the fields will be blank, you'll have to type everything in. But in Airtable, it's already filled up for you, okay? And it's very easy to group. This field already is grouped, and I'll show you later how to change that. So that's the A list, that's the B list. In this case, there's no B list. Everybody they invite, they already want to put in the A list. That's how psychology works, by the way. Now, there is a vacation rental in case you want to in include that. So that would probably be a rental for, uh, you know, uh, for, that's not honeymoon. This is a rental before the wedding. So you fix up yourself, you know, near the church and stuff like that. So that's, this is where you identify all the uh, people you need to invite for the vacation rental, you know. There's also a rehearsal dinner, which was not in the Philippines, but in the U.S. they have that, okay? So if you want to rehearse the uh, bride, bridesmaid, who's going to be there, okay? Now, the wedding party, let's call this the, uh, what is this thing called? That's the reception. Who are you uh, inviting for the reception, okay? And now, this is the most important part. Who did you invite that hasn't replied yet? 
Okay, so that's that's an important table. Now these tables, you don't have to use all of them. You can use some. Like Jamar, I don't know what a vacation rental is. We don't have that. Erase that. A rehearsal dinner, we don't have that. Erase that. Okay. Now, no RSVP yet. RSVP, RSVP yes, no, and people you need to send thank you to, thank you cards, right? And there's also table assignments where who do you want to sit with who? The table assignments are so important if you want you know two people to fall in love <laughs> and two people to avoid each other okay <laughs> and some bridal shower stuff all in all that's just about those are just the tables everybody say tables those are the type the word people tables those are the people tables these are as uh, data that's important for weddings that is involving human beings data uh, people tables now the next part of that would be uh, the venues because hello if you're gonna go out on a wedding there are several venues right and the venues would be the wedding proper the rehearsal proper the, the thank you party the the reception and all that stuff so there has to be a set of tables for uh, venues okay now I want to pause here because I went straight into it is everything clear so far is everything clear so far I'm just gonna read what am I doing especially if you just came in now and you thought what why is John Mark telling you about planning a wedding oh because this tool I'm using you can use it on a mobile phone this tool I'm using is free as long as you don't have you know 1800 guests you're, you're good to go <laughs> there's a limit to the free version but none of you are gonna have 500 guests in a, you know in a wedding so no problem bottom line this tool will allow you to become a skilled planner. Everybody type the word skilled planner for your client. Because whatever business your client is in, you can supply information, blanks, that you don't even know exist. Like for example, um, client tells you, I have a wedding. I need help in planning it. You just open this up. You know the blanks. Then you can say, so when is your rehearsal dinner? Dada? You don't even know what that is. Now, I'm just using the wedding to make it very easy for people to understand. But this thing can be used, this air table can be used to plan social media posts, Facebook content, Facebook campaigns, okay? Uh, a book promotion plan, okay? An event marketing plan, even, even a specific kind of book submission program you, sorry if you don't know what that is, but I'm just telling you the value of Airtable. There are so many things you can use this to monitor. Now, I'm going to show you samples of how people use this also, okay? Um, people use it to, to take, uh, to have an inventory of testimonials, so important for businesses, an inventory of their stuff, like two kinds of stuff. First, people personally use this to inventory books they own, and books they want to read wow and and podcasts you know if you have clients who run podcasts they use this to plan the podcasts now you might say we use google sheets we use trello to do that right and and there's already an existing system for doing that what airtable has become is a combination of so many things dropbox google sheets microsoft office and oh, you just mentioned it asana and trello which actually is one of the big, 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 uh, you know, big apps to use uh, today. Uh, people use the, those apps very much whenever they uh, plan stuff, okay? And yeah, I'll show you later why I mean this is a replacement to Trello, which is even more detailed and even easier to use. Let me just go to the past the venue information again. I hope. I hope you don't mind. I, I stopped a bit because I needed to explain what this is good for. The wedding is just an easy way for you to understand it, but it's actually more important. Let's show you why. In venues, did you know this? In a venue, you need to know what it looks like, right? And hello, the, it, the pictures are already in the system. You just load th these pictures up there. and. and you don't have to go to another place, Evernote, you know, Dropbox, Gmail. It's already there. It's already been loaded by whoever put the pictures in. So when you're doing research, you're clipping this stuff from the internet, normally loaded in Evernote, just load it into Airtable. 
And if you're actually in the same place, just take a picture from your cell phone and load it into Airtable. Not into the camera, but directly into this entry here. So your data is connected to this information base. So essentially what you're looking at is a database that looks like a spreadsheet, but it's a database. It's very powerful. Now, on top of just pictures, you can also, obviously, you need to know if you contacted this person. So there's some sort of to-do. Have I emailed them? Have I phoned them? Have I told them anything? So there's a status update. Where is it located? How much is the rental? You you encode this usually, okay? It, yeah, it's just like Lotus Notes, only it works for new computers, works for cell phones, works for smartphones, works for net. And of course, there's website. I don't know if they put it in here, but there must be a place where you can, there is a, you can actually put in the map. You can put in the map. There's a pros and cons. Notice this, um, this is a location, but it tells you, uh, well, you might want to know what the pros and the cons of, of this venue is. And that's the most, one of the most important part of measuring if you want to go for this venue or not. The pros and the cons, right? See that? Sorry, I forgot to zoom in. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's proof zooming. Point of contact, who's to, who's to email. Uh, you can actually even put in a link to a Google Maps. Okay? So if there is a Google Maps, um, yeah, if it's a location like this, instead of just putting the address, you can just put in Google Maps. Let me see if there, if they put it in here. Dapat meron eh. Ah, uh, wala. Nila nila din Google Maps. We're just, look, we're just showing this to you, okay? I'm not yet modifying it. Uh, sorry, um, we can modify this a little bit. Now, please note, Lotus Note, super old, won't work on the internet as much and super expensive. This one is free. Okay. Now, that's just the uh, venue. Okay. I'm going to go back and wait a minute. I I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh, there. We'll go back here. Ay, lumabas. Sensya na, nawala na naman yung wedding ko. Tanggal ko. Wait a minute. Yeah. So, if you've ever used Lotus Notes, which is really powerful, but really meant for corporate, this is way better because Lotus Notes is, you know, tagal na siya eh. <laughs> okay. So, here we are. Um, uh, just to make it smaller because I can't see anything. Okay. So, tapos na tayo dun sa place. Ito yung venues and the caterers. Again, you don't know anything about caterers. You can use these blocks to fill in up with caterers and there are everything you need to put in when you evaluate the caterer. There's, is it disqualified? Do you want to tell more, find out uh, what's the food type? What's the email? Um, what's the price per person? You want to you wanna sort per price, for example. No? If you want to sort this per price, then you can do that. Okay? And sort by price per person. So apply. Now, that part there, you can easily do that in Excel, right? But Excel doesn't allow you to in input, you know, uh, pictures in the field itself here and doesn't allow you to do it on a cell phone as well, right? But because you can put in attachments here and attach an images there. Actually, you can attach anything, MP3 files, video files, anything, as long as it will give you information that you need. So that's the caterers part. There's night of the hotel. Now, this is where you're going to stay uh, in the, uh, after the wedding. Notice, covered everything in planning a wedding. Not, well, of course, not the entertainment part, but that's essentially what you need uh, in a general wedding. Just a moment, that's not it, huh? Of course, Alfred, it's free, but there's a limit, 1,800 uh, uh, records. Just don't use that limit for your massive project. If you want to use it for a massive project, use, cut up your project into small bits, but your client should be able to afford this. It's not, it's not enterprise, meaning it's really just meant for entrepreneurs naman masya, yung pricing. Bottom line, everybody can use this for free. When you sign up, by the way, don't sign up yet. <laughs> Are you going to sign up now? Are you kidding? Sign up when you're ready, when you've studied it already, because there's a 30-day trial for a specific thing I'm going to teach you tonight. 
Okay, there's a specific new part of Airtable that I want you to learn. I want you to learn it during the 30-day trial period when you don't have to pay anything. Okay, you can use it for free, but the specific thing I'm going to teach you, it's not available if it's free. But you can get it for the free trial portion. Okay, 30 days. So please do not sign up yet. Learn first. Can I just pause and tell you a big technique I use in learning new apps? I don't sign up. I watch all the videos first. Okay. Now, I looked at the interwebs. There is no easy approach video in teaching Airtable. Nobody has created a video that is non-techy like this one on uh, a wedding planning. All right? So, di ba, Alexa? So, <laughs> so, we are going. Here's, here's, the, here's my guest. See that? There's a guest. See? We are going to teach you how to use this now. Okay? Are you ready to learn now? I just, I just showed it to you, man. I mean, I can show you anything, but don't have to show you and, and modify. And I'm going to start to modify now the table, the wedding planning table, as if it's mine, right? I'm going to try to use it as if it's mine. Are you ready to learn? Type in the word. Hey, I'm ready to learn. Let me see. What? She is a, uh, yeah. she is, she has a partial online presence. No online presence, no name. <laughs> huh? Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Let's teach them how to use Airtable. Are you ready? We we'll teach them how to use Airtable, okay? Uh, let's go Airtable it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is on the lower left hand corner, you type, you copy base, copy base. Now, they use the word base because this is a database. Everybody type the word database. So I'm going to click on the copy base portion here. Yan, yan, yan. So lower left hand corner. And let me, sandali, maliit kasi yung screen. I'm going to fix it a bit. Sandali. Okay. Subukan mo. Bango niya, hindi ko alam. Un <laughs> momento, por favor, I need to... Uh, I need... Sandali lang po ah. I want to be able to give you a good uh, zoom. Iso zoom ko yung ano. Yung, I want to zoom in uh, parts of the screen so you can see it. Uh, just give me a second. So I hope the zoom works. I'm gonna start it. So I'm gonna click on copy base here. There. I don't know if you saw that zooming out. But it's, it, is, it zooms out. So it has created a brand new template called the uh, you know, wedding planning template. Okay there. So I click on it and then open it. Okay. So it's gonna use it's gonna be exactly like that one. That what I showed you, okay? But now we can actually modify this. I can put in my name here. Jomar as the bride. See, kanina you can't modify. Now you can modify. Now let me see if the zoom works for you guys. You need to zoom. Then, no? sorry, the zoom doesn't work for you. So I have to say it works. My cursor. Can you see my cursor as a? Let me ikot na below. You can't see that. I'll just let me know. Please let me know. Give me the feedback. If you can see the cursor as uh, umiikot na below, or can you see the zoom that I'm trying to give you? Uh, to make sure if it works. I don't know it. Okay. Pero mukhang hindi. Okay. So here's what, what works. In in this template, the type there is guests, venues, caterers, night of the hotel. These are the tables, right? And and these are the details, right? And obviously, you already know, if you want to add details to this, you just go to the ilalim, di ba? 
di ba? Gusto mo magdagdag ng guest, just type in new guest, yan, right? And this this feels exactly like no, Excel, right? And you might be saying, oh, so we're just looking at Excel, right? Actually, no, that's just one way to encode information in, in this system, okay? Which is just go to the bottom and encode, okay? You can, hanapin natin siya, yan. You can do a form view, okay? Dali, ah. There are different views that you can use, but wait a minute. So, kilala nyo to, ito mga icons na to, this is filter, this is sort, that's change color, that's row height. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna click on where the height is that, sandali ah. Mapping ko lang yung form view. So that's filter, that's groupings, that's sorting, that's coloring. Okay, masyado maliit. So, dali. There. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Nakita ko na kanya, nawala pa. <laughs> By the way, when you do this, the intention is that you will be able to work with other people on the same document. Just like Google Docs. Okay? Hindi siya, hindi siya basta... Okay, mag-isa lang siya, ikaw lang nakakakita. Now, kaya lang hanapin ko lang yung ano, fill up view. Nakita ko na, nakalimutan ko lang. Here, create a form view. So, you can encode the details using a form. Now, you make a form view when you want people, let me show you, when you want people to encode the data themselves. So, yeah, just like Facebook, uh, so Google Sheets, you can create a form that has the details of the table so that probably mother-in-law can encode guest, father-in-law can encode guest, you can encode guest. Um, you know what I mean, right? So these are the guests that, you, that they will encode here, there and put options, rooms, family. So lahat itong details na to, encode na lang nila. All you have to do is press some buttons tapos uh, pwede nila encode yung details. You can, they can encode, you can encode. Depends on what fields you give them. Like, Likelihood of attendance, probably not. Ikaw na maglalagay, nang tatanggalin mo yan. Yung edad, baka gusto mo ilagay adults sila. Um, essentially, you don't have to be the one encoding everything. You can create this form view so that they can encode themselves. Okay? Now, I just did it very quickly because I didn't want to, you know, create a form. Essentially, you can change this. Well, pwede mo tanggalin yung ibang details na, ano, hindi, hindi nila gusto makita, hide mo yan. Ito, ayaw mo pakita yan, hide mo rin yan. By the shower, hide more in You know what I mean? Hide stuff you don't want. You want a total number of party, because may lagay, alcohol preference, wedding gift, tanggalin mo yan, bawa. Ganun. So, there are stuff you don't, oh, wedding thank you sent, field mo yan eh, hindi naman nila field. So, those are pieces of information you don't need. By the way, type the word field. So, each one of these pieces of information is called a field. In Excel, that's called a row or a column. Uh, it's a column, right? It's a column. But here, since this is a database, it is called a field. And th this view that I'm showing you allows you to tell your client, hey, um, I need pieces of information. Instead of me typing everything, type the words, instead of me, type, type no, instead of me, you let uh, the people who need, who, want, who has the information to type it for you. You let them use this field view, uh, this form view. So this, this form, you can embed it in different websites or WordPress. You give them the link so they can encode stuff. And you're going to tell me, Jomar, Jomar, just like, Facebook, uh, just like uh, Google Sheets, they go on a form, right? And, and they will encode it themselves. Yes. However, ulit-ulitin ko sa inyo, in Google Sheets, you don't know what fields to use. Yes. In Airtable, the fields are already given to you. The pieces of information that you need for, you know, creation of guests is already there, you know, including your alcohol preference and which part of the family. You don't have to figure this out. And please note, this is just for the wedding example. There are so many different kinds of industries that already has built-in information on what information is needed to run that thing, okay? So, it's, it's like funny because gone are the days that you would you would have to have knowledge about those things like you know, wedding planner has knowledge of stuff like that uh now the, the only value of the wedding planner is contacts 
Yeah. But now, if you can Google, you have contacts, right? So Conrado says it's like creating a yeah a database in Excel if you know how to use Vir Visual Basic for, uh, uh, yeah, for apps in Excel. But as I said, you have this has been created for you. We're just using it now. Let's uh, go play with it some more. Yeah, so that's the wedding planner. That's just telling you about the views. Now, possible venues, ganyan. Um, well, it's the same. It's just a table, so you can add possible venues there, use the form view and stuff. Now, my since this this ano, this stuff is already, you know, it's already filled up for you. For, for example, there is a way to look at the information. Like, for example, here, in guests, let me just show you how this is very powerful. Some of this stuff you will see that you already know how to use in Excel, uh, but it's much more powerful if you use this one. Wait a minute. I can't see my face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So where is that thing? All right, here it is. So I'm just gonna do some uh, sorting, no um, filtering. So um, I can just sorry, ayoko nyan. I can hide some fields. Uh, no, I don't like that. I'm yeah, groups. What? Well, let's say I want to group, you know, by relationship. I'm gonna show people who is related to groomsmen, who's related to both. Who's just the groom's family? Who's groom's family and bridesmaid? Who are the groom friends? You see, it's so simple. I just clicked on the button and it sorted the list. So I can do that in Excel, correct? You can do that in Excel. However, it's so hard to do this in Excel, okay, if you don't have the information. But this already gives you the information, right? It's like an automatic pivot table. Parang ganyan. Now, uh, if you don't know pivot tables, it's kind of easy if you study how to use it. But did you notice I didn't have I didn't have to study? I already know. I just clicked on the table, and and the thing about Excel is uh, when you do a, uh, a grouping like this, do you know how many that is? How many per group? I know nakalagay ng count adad. This Airtable assumes you're smart enough that if you group, you want to know how many per table, right? And that's it. Rooms family ten. It's there. See that? It's ten. So you don't have to create another count for, in Excel you have to manually create that, no? another count for each grouping. And what if you want to group it in another way? Um, let's say not relationship. You want to group it according to who has RSVP and who has not RSVP. Again, there's a brand new sorting, a brand new grouping, heck yes. There's a heck yes grouping and 65 people there. You can simply see the count from there. Okay, very simple. And that's just the grouping function. Now, I want to stop here because I don't want to show you something that is easy to do in Excel. Instead, I want to show you something that's really, really unique to Airtable. Are you ready? Type the words, this is new. Okay. And this new thing I'm going to teach you is called a dashboard. Now, the people who made Airtable does, probably didn't want to highlight it, but it's one of the most powerful things you could do for a client is to create a dashboard for them. Imagine, this is not a wedding. Imagine this is sales, right? Sales of a company. Now, sales pa nga, importante. Let, let's see if you can show this to, hi Manix, hi Sean, hi Roy, Grace, hi DJ, hi Conrado, hi Alfredo. You can show this to, you're, 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 like, you're planning the wedding, right? What if you can show one page that shows you everything in a simple to understand way. Can you create a dashboard? Okay, can you create a dashboard? Uh, let me just show you, I'll create a dashboard right now. Um, again, it's going to take me a few seconds to make the dashboard, okay, a few seconds. So I click on blocks, which is available for the pro account only. Remember, you have a 30 day trial for the pro account, make sure you study blocks. So you go to blocks and click on add a block. And I'm just gonna, you know, first of all, this is a wedding. So I'm just gonna put in a, um, what's the most important part of the wedding, you know? Who knows the most important part of a wedding? The date <laughs> of the wedding. <laughs> you need to know if you have time. <laughs> so you click on countdown. So I add a block called countdown and I click on add. 
So just add it into the to the uh, air table. Now this part is special because it's a block. It's not data. It's not field. It's not database. It's just a date and time. So let's say the wedding is happening. Um, num, 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 yeah, uh, June 29. Oh, sorry, no, 30 na lang. So there's 38 days to go, and 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 then I click on done, and that's your countdown. Okay, so that's my first block. Now you can rename that and say um, days to happy wedding day. Days left. I can put in days left. And this is, let's say, type, type say the words user friendly countdown. So this countdown here, this is our first block. Obviously, you cannot do this in Excel. <laughs> so this is our first block. Let's add another one. Okay. Uh, so one of the most important part of a wedding, aside from the date, is um, are there do we have enough guests or um, are are we gonna you know. Uh, do we can we invite more people or uh, have people RSVP and stuff like that? So I'm going to select the next block to be a summary. Okay, type the word summary, and then I click on summary and I click on add to base. And and the summary tells you how many left. For example, um, what do you want? How many RSVPs? People would know no RSVP yet. That's important, right? Because you want to follow them up. So I put that there and I, and I color that red because it's important for me to follow up that person. Now, um, I count, I just count. This is a very simple summary. Just one person needs to be followed up. So that's my first. And I, I rename it and I say, um, no RSVP yet because it's an important metric. Uh, a dashboard gives you important metrics about something. So I add, so I already have two blocks and it hasn't been five minutes, okay? So I'm gonna add another block and still a summary and I'm gonna add that to the base and I'm gonna put in uh, a very important part of the wedding, which is what? What do you think? Um, not yes. How many has yes, has said yes? Yes, I think that's very important. And I put in, make that, I make that into green because um, you know how what's the capacity of your venue, right? And I can just put that in and rename it as um, attending for sure. Yeah, attending for sure. Yan ang 65. That's the that's our next block. Okay. Now, um, for those of you who kind of appreciate this, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. Sorry, yeah. And, and I'm just gonna start making this smaller. A dashboard is a single piece of information that usually a client would pay so much to get from dashboard services. If you use Airtable to create a dashboard for a client, you would be one of a kind when it comes to giving service because uh, People don't make dashboards. You understand me? Dashboards are, these are the thing that people want to have, but they don't have. You understand me? Uh, if a dashboard can simplify the life of the client, okay? So I'm gonna make this bigger so you can appreciate the, the dashboard because the dashboard view you're seeing is a cell phone dashboard view. And I want you to see, a moment. Just a moment, huh? So this is a cell phone dashboard view. I don't like you guys seeing that because you know, maybe yeah fine you you might want to see it in cell phone mode this is this in one screen the client will be able to see let's say wedding client yourself or a friend or your actual client will see that there are 38 days to go there's one person needs to follow up and there's 65 people attending in a, any given time and if somebody changes the information in the database this number changes also okay so uh, I want to show you the dashboard as it really looks like, okay, uh, in a big in a big screen, and so then it ma ma modify. Ah, oh, there, sorry, sorry, there it is. So you really want to make it look like an actual dashboard by making this smaller. There, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
dominion. So I'm just going to erase myself from the equation and I want to actually reformat this to make it look like an actual dashboard. There. So there's a lot more space for other stuff happening. And the important thing there is the data is live. Now, if I modify the attendance information here, this details, these details will actually change also. Okay? So it's not just a static number like you would put in an Excel file. Okay? So I'm going to get out of this place and I'm going to modify something here. Remember the numbers in the blocks? Right? Remember the blocks? 65 attending for sure. So I'm going to modify this. I'm going to make somebody not attend. <laughs> right? So I'm going to put in heck yes. I'm going to change the heck yes to unfortunately no. Okay? So 65 has to change, right? And it's going to update by itself. It's now 64 people attending the wedding. And that's all. Uh, whoever modifies the database, it reflects on the dashboard. So I'll take this time to make sure you're focusing on the right place. I'm introducing this tool to you because most people, even probably the creators, did not appreciate the power of, of the dashboard. If you had a dashboard like this and you go around and tell clients, even entrepreneurs, you know, Philippine entrepreneurs who are so afraid to hire VAs and stuff, if you tell them you're gonna make a business dashboard for them, oh my goodness, based on solely on an Excel file, they will thank you. Because they entrepreneurs they wanna open their web, open their cell phone and look at sales details in one screen. They don't wanna go through an Excel file. No. Now the dashboard companies are not very good in promoting themselves, so there's not a lot of dashboards out there. But if you were able to make something like this based on sales, based on um, on quota, you know, so easy. Now I'm gonna pause. I already told you some how to you know how to how to use it, but that's just for wedding. Everything I did, you can do this for. You can do this for any kind of application. Let me show you the kinds of stuff there. They're actually using this for not just for weddings, okay? Because you know, uh, wedding, 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 blah blah blah. Okay. So they use this for BI. Let me just go to the universe. Just go to the universe, and you'll see. Wow, this is a lot of information giving to you for free. Remember, the blanks are already there. And here's the most important thing: companies who use this system are giving away their air tables so the templates are used by actual companies look britannica's content management system you want that system it's there in Airtable. it's free you just use it all right let me just okay let me just hello our last screen code there are uh, there's people like product hunt who use this uh, and they they give you their system um this is an event staffing template this is product hunts system for quotes manage, managing quotes now if they have guests the on a, on a show and there are quotes in your mind that would be temp testimonials you can use the product hunt system or or tape base um, this is partner relationship manager you don't know what that is you want to become one details are there uh, um, tracking the paralympics the olympics there it is um, every star tech book a database of Star Trek books. Um, personal dashboard, oh, this is so powerful. You wanna measure stuff about your life. You don't know how. Oh well, this one will help you track your life. And some of us, we just track our life based on to-do lists and grocery lists. So this personal dashboard gives you a mindset of, okay, what are the stuff I can put in a personal dashboard, right? Content agency manager. How about startup and investor matching? This is so many business expense tracker. You know nothing about business expense? Open it up. Open it up. You, you're running a business, yeah? Then you copy it, you know? and you now have the base. There it is, the business expense tracker. Open it up. And remember, this is just like the templates in PowerPoint, in, 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 in Excel. Actually, no. These are made by actual companies, not by Microsoft. You see? Very, very powerful. Plus, it's not one sheet. Everybody type the word. Database equals many sheets. A database has all these sheets related to each other that, that functions well. An Excel file is one file. 
and companies don't give away their Excel files, yeah? They, they never do. It's from private and aming yan. In, in the case of Airtable, if you go to the left side of the screen, you'll be able to see different kinds of templates, different kinds of, yeah, there, creative production, education, entrepreneurship, there's way, student planning, you know, book recommendations, looking for an apartment, okay, organizing your clothes, so many things, so many things, so many tables, so many bases to use. And in real estate people, they can use it to monitor anything architectural, building defects, how hunting for a house, planning your office visits, warehousing, listing on eBay, anything. It's a database system, okay? That's very simple and very easy to use. Only if you knew the power. That's why I'm here telling you all about it. In Airtable, very easy, very easy to use. I showed you how to use it. Uh, one thing you can do though is use it personally first. Then create a personal dashboard. Copy the one here so you can study how it works. Okay, and and you can understand. Oh, how do I do I only showed you a fragment of the skills you can stuff you can do in uh, in Airtable. If you know some Excel, you can you know you know how to sort. You know how to move fields and around. But bottom line is. Uh, the good thing about this is it's a great system that's already been used by other people and you just use their system, right? Use their system and uh, you can learn from their mistakes by not seeing their mistakes, right? How can you see their mistakes? There's, it's not there, right? Britannica's content management system is there. So no need to, uh, you know, to make mistakes, right? Just use what Britannica uses for content management. Da, 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 there is. Yes, and so there's a big, 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 big uh, potential to this tool uh, that nobody has actually thought about. At least, even if I go to YouTube, I mean, only one person talks about Airtable. Okay, <laughs> so probably a big secret, like maybe I don't know. But bottom line, uh, this show is not. It's, I actually didn't even promote this as much. As it could, but I hope you got value from this show. Uh, learning all about this brand new tool called called Airtable. Okay, na ako magsalita. Too much English. Um, you will be hearing um, more from me about Airtable, but I hope you you love uh, its potential and you spend some sleepless nights studying it and using it for yourself. There's so many things we don't know, but now, you know, content is no longer king and, and context is now more important, right? And in your context here, you're here because um, you want to learn something new. You are here because you want to learn something new before everybody learns about it, okay? Oh, by the way, uh, somebody is mentioning Trello. Okay, let me show you uh, if I can find it. Um, the reason why this is better than Trello is because it, Trello's inside. <laughs> Trello is inside, if I can find the view, all right? Because there is, a, I cannot find it. I need to look for the view. Obis ba, hindi pa pakagali. Oh, there it is. So, you said Trello. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. You don't need Trello. It's here. Trello's here, there. This is Trello view. Drag that there, drag that there. It's the same database. You see it? Sorry, I blocked myself, but you needed it wider. So, the same database, the same system, you can use to do Trello-like things, right? And this is a Trello-like interface, right? It's called the Kanban view. You assign this there. You put bring this there. Like you can organize your stuff visually instead of doing the the thing in Trello, you know, uh, in, in Excel, you look for the person, eh, pupunta ba siya, hindi siya pupunta, you just do it this way, right? Assign, 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 very easy. It's just a view. It's called a Kanban view. I don't think Trello invented this, the profile, the system. I think Kanban did it. So that's uh, the Kanban view, so simple. And if you want to get more details on this, just click on that, you have the form, you can encode the form. You know, this is very fast also, right? So you can just use it to manage data, but one of the most important things you can use it is when you're applying for a client, you put them in a list here, applying, and then you put them in the list inside uh, Airtable. Just look for uh, job application. This is a job hunt, uh, Airtable, use that. 
and all the details are already filled out for you just put in your details I mean all the tables fields are there so you don't need to guess what what I use for job hunt it's there you just go to the here air table go to universe and click on whatever you want to use it for okay and this list is gonna grow and this is the power of the internet when they invented it right the people can share information like that meron yan, meron yan job hunt. Yeah, managing your job search. There it is. Point. I can use this one, and I can use the Kanban there. Wish list, applied for, um, phone, take home, on-site offer. There. This is the Kanban view of. There. This is the grid view, of, managing your job search. Very easy. Gig hunting using this, this system. Hey. Okay, ba? Hey. <laughs> Maybe. So, natuto sila gumamit ng air table. No? Air table. Sobrang simple. So, bottom line, that's uh, that's the lesson I want you guys to take home from today. Do join us for more lessons. And this week, I'm teaching personal branding, simplified personal branding in my Facebook group. The Facebook group is called John Marhilario Virtual Careers. And... Since we've done this, we'll be showing you some other stuff we can use. Maybe I'll make a full-blown uh, dashboard, you know, for uh, for virtual careers. Maybe for a not virtual for a business. I'll make a full-blown dashboard inside Airtable for a business. Let me show this to you. How do you find out about it? You go to my group, my group. Hey, group members, do me a favor. Can you type the address of our Facebook group in the comment line and invite them? Type their Join us as we learn more stuff from Jomar at and we give them the address of the group so I don't have to type it in <laughs> while I'm telling getting a let this girl's hands off. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. So this has been uh, Jom Hilario. This is Ideas That Prosper number 15 where you learn all the stuff. More stuff to learn this week. Join us. Please tag your friends. Uh, the why should you tag them because this is just one of the skills i'm teaching there's a lot more and i teach every day in the group called john hilario virtual careers so that's a free place to get lessons on the new apps that you should be using to in uh, to help you you know in your virtual career search now i'll be teaching even more so we just finished one whole month of social media copywriting and I, I don't know yet, I think we're going to go in the direction of uh, personal branding, maybe, maybe, or maybe more of this stuff. By the way, for those looking, so what kind of person should use this system? Uh, a person who is really organized, which is a C person, a D person who needs to be, want to see things clearly, and also an I person to commute, uh, sorry, not an I person, sorry, I, I'll, I'll tell you I. <laughs> Actually, everybody can use this. But the I person will probably use it to monitor social media posts, okay, and plan social media posts. Uh, an S person, you can use use this for any kind of uh, application that you can find in the universe, okay. I mean the Airtable universe. So DISC, this is important for every kind of of behavior type in the disk category system that we use. So, so I'm I'm saying everybody should learn this. Um, if if not for somebody's wedding. But for your job search, as I'm showing you here. So learn it, and you can put this in your resume as one of the new skills that you know. Okay? And screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. There see that may link, link, link to my Facebook group, okay? So if whatever this profile you have, you need to study Air, Airtable because it's really cool. Helps you with um, organizing stuff and helps you in becoming more valuable to a client no so thank you very much uh, i still i'm still running the social media copywriting class uh, the lowest uh, price now is the pair discount uh, just go to i don't know where the website is let me show you for the social media copywriting class if you want to make habol there it is so yeah uh, this is for last week's uh, lesson i okay? copy yeah, there I can't find it right there. Yeah. So the website is jhilari.com slash coffee internship. That's where you can still find out that if you were there last week and you still want to join, yeah. We can we're still open because we haven't started yet. We're gonna start uh April 15, okay? For the social media uh, class and the 
the lowest price you can get in right now is the pair discount. You have to buy Sabai at the same time. Just to get into the pair discount and you, you're good to go. Okay? So that's it. Um, inviting you to go to Virtual Careers Academy to learn anything else you want to learn about social media, about Facebook ads, about chatbots and anything else. And invite you to be friends with everyone who's a member of my John Hilaria Virtual Careers group. Apparently, nobody knows how to tag. So, ako na lang. <laughs> Ika tag niyo yung group para makuntahan nila. Alam mo naman people, tamad yan. Hindi lang ako yan. So, dapat ito tag mo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, there it is. Copywriting starts April 15. April 15. Okay? That's social media copywriting course. That's for people who want to learn uh, how to use their cell phones uh, and start an internship with one of, with an actual client to do their social media for them. Okay? Thank you guys. Thank you so much. And God bless. I'll see you soon. Next Monday. Okay, I'll see you on Monday. Thank you. Keep praying and happy Easter. By the way, pala, sorry. Ah. On Tuesday next week, we're going to have a meetup. Everybody type the word meetup on Tuesday next week here in Manila just to celebrate the Easter. Okay, so that's uh, 10. April 10, okay, type nga. Um, meetup April 10, BGC. Okay, we're going to do a meetup in the lunchtime, morning and lunchtime on April 10. For those of you who want to celebrate Easter with us, it's got KKB, meaning Kanya Kanyang Bayad, or we're probably going to do this near Uptown Mall in, in on April 10th. So please do show up April 10th and so we can see each other there. This is just an informal gathering, okay? Nothing formal. We're, we're probably gonna just sit around in a restaurant and just talk and be friends, all right? Thank you so much. I'll see you next week on BGC. April 10 and April 9, we have another show. Please do tag your friends if you think they're going to get married. No, they're gonna, They can use this system. They don't use notebooks and Excel or Google Sheets. Okay? And at the same time, you can practice by doing it for themselves. Do, doing the planning for them, right? Do practice using Airtable for your friends. All right? See you in the Easter meetup next week and God bless. Oh, questions. Are we going to meet up in Cebu? Wala pa akong fly date. Eh. Iloilo, July meet up. Mark your calendars. We're going to show up in July. End of July sa Iloilo. If you're there, then I'll see you then. Okay? Wala pa akong ibang ibang place. Okay? Wala pa akong ibang place where you can actually meet you up. Aside from Elo Elo and Manila. Kidoks? So do suggest if you want to do a meet up. Uh, yeah. Do suggest places. So... But oh, my question, pala kaya, sige, we're just we're just gonna stay here, you know, and maybe if you have questions, the questions game. How to start? Ay meron pala akong gusto pakiita pero di naman bagay. Eh. I created this tutorial on how to start make landing pages. Is anybody interested in this tutorial? How to make landing pages? So I made this, uh, yeah, it's a brand, it's not brand new tutorial, but I made it very detailed, how to make landing pages. It's free. Uh, I-request nyo na lang sa, sa chat room kung gusto nyo malaman, and I'll answer later kung ano yun. Okay? Thank you so much. Bayeta, no? May show? Diyan lang siya. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do, do me a favor, please. If you want to learn more, please, you can help encourage me. Everybody type the word, encourage so much by tagging people you know. Okay? Kahit natapos na yung show, like, tag them and, say, and tell them, hey, you should check this out. Hey, you should check this out. Tag as many people you know so it will encourage me so we can bring the numbers up from a very low number that I normally have to a very high number, like 1,000. Okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. I do hope to reach more people and helping them uh, live a marvelous life through virtual careers or online marketing, whichever. Thank you so much. God bless.